Hey YouTube, what's happening? I got this little forage harvester. It was my beginner forage harvester when I was doing one row of corn and I found a $52 harvester at the last auction sale. Check out one of my prior videos. You'll see it in action, me and my buddy Sam. So now we're gonna make a wood chipper out of this forage harvester. I need a souped up wood chipper, like 100 horsepower should drive it pretty good. So YouTube, we're gonna start by taking apart the old head. I need that frame, that's gonna be my starter shoot for my wood chipper. So, we're gonna get a wrench and we're gonna rip that thing apart. Maybe take the cotter key out. Yeah. On top. Yeah. There. I dropped the pin through all the gears. No, I can't reach it. I need to crawl. Ah. Uh -huh. Hello YouTube, we got the corn head taken away. We're gonna use the back bracket so we can build a box. This is originally where the corn goes through and of course it chops it up into quarter inch pieces. Hi Lucy, how's my favorite helper? Hey. So YouTube, this is what I'm starting with. That's where my feed is for my branches, my new wood chipper. So I'm going to make the bottom of my box that comes out at least uh, two and a half feet. That way when you, you don't touch anything, you, you're too far away. And I want to put my bottom of my in-feed chute level with the bottom two rollers. That way when there's wood on the chute, it doesn't bounce up or bounce in to make the branch like crazy all over the place with hydraulic feed. Well this one's mechanical feed but same idea. And uh, yeah so I'm gonna weld an uh, angle iron here. I also in my chute I don't want no catches in my chute. You know when you stick something in something and it always hits that edge so it's gonna be a smooth going in and then all the edges will be on the outside. That way it's nice and smooth. Hey, best friend. Mwah. Love you, my best friend. This is my Lucy. I love her to death.
I forgot to turn on the microphone, and this is my son cutting some of the sidewalls, and me removing a pin from this fancy old green harvester. This is where I'm going to hook up my safety bar in front of my chute. This is also my cool style, and if you want to see me do some silly actions without any sound, here it is. Dum dum dum. So we're going uphill and downhill and around the world, and uh, the branch is going to shake. And yeah, I actually forget what I said, but there it is. Here's that sheet my son cut, and he's marking it to notch it for the in-shoot. My son's eyeballing it, and I'm tacking it in. So we're going to start on our bottom half of the chute. And here we are tacking in the top half. And we're going to work on the sides next. Oh, best friend, sleeping. Now you sleeping? Find another bolt. Always need another bolt. chipper and this is how she runs that's in feet there's reverse there's a neutral in the middle but it's hard to get because it's halfway so when you're running along if something happens
gone for her first job already. And there she goes. You coming? Come here. Come Everybody, what's going on? Going on? What's going on? Going on? Going on? Yeah. What's that mean? Does it mean where's the beef? Where's the beef? Where's the bee? Okay. 